Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? Cross watchers, third parties. I want to thank you guys so much for all love and support to the channel. Comments, liking, sharing, subscribing, your donations. I really appreciate everything you do, the way you guys show up and rock with me. I love it. So hit that like button and let's get into this, baby. This is how do they feel about you. So go ahead and put this person on your mind. You guys may are not, you guys may be on no contact. You may have lost contact with this person. You guys may have gotten in an argument. Hell, some of you guys may be sitting right in front of this person and you're trying to feel like, feel them out. You're trying to figure out, can you really trust them um, or what they're saying is true? So let's get into it. All right. <laughs> so if you are a Pisces, someone rising in the sign, baby, this is where you want to be. Okay. So let's get into this, you guys. Anything you need to know is in the description box below. And I am closed for personal readings at this time. So the story is the Queen of Swords. So why am I getting Pisces? You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, emphasis on a Libra. But why do I feel like you said something to this person? You may have really, I don't know, honey, I don't know what you said, but why I'm getting that, you're like, this person is trying to make you stand 10 toes down on something that you said. Like you said it, and they're going to see if you're going to stand 10 toes down on this shit. <laughs> you may have told this person, well, you ain't got to worry about me calling you. I ain't going to call you again. You ain't even got to worry about hearing from me, baby. I'm good over here in the neighborhood. We are great, honey. Oh, you ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about it. I ain't calling. I ain't texting or um, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm just fine. I don't need your help. I'm great. Or you told this person something about themselves. You were like, honey, you were the one that was over there begging for attention, blah, 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 blah. You told this person something straight up. You gave this person the business and it was all facts. All facts. It was facts. It was facts. You're standing on you because you feel you, you're like this. Like it was definitely facts, baby. You said something to this person with this emperor in reverse. Woo! Woo! You hurt this person. Your words, baby. But did, why do I feel like you weren't being nasty and you weren't being overcritical? You just stated all you stated facts, baby. Whew, they all in their head, ten of swords at the back of the deck. This person all in their head. They can't, they keep replaying something that you said over and over and over and over and over and over again. Especially with this will of fortune here. It's like it's like a broken record. It's like someone's replaying something like a broken record. And honey, they are so fixated on it. They're so fixed on this something that you said but you stated facts you may have told this person yeah i may be this but i wasn't out here looking desperate marrying people just to be loved or just settling down with anybody i may be this i may be that but at least i wasn't out here begging for attention and looking desperate and just just you know laying like settling for anything blah, blah, blah. you said something to this person and i'm telling you right now hmm This person has a lot of mental anguish and they're replaying this like, it's almost like a broken record. Hmm. And I don't know what you said to this person, but I feel like whatever it is that you said, they want to see, how, they want to see you stand on business. They want to see you stand 10 toes down on this shit. Like they, which is really weird because why are you, why are you feeling some type of way about the truth? But it's because. I guess hearing it from you is what really bothers them the most or you saying it. But why do I get a feeling that this person looks like they, they can say whatever they want to say to you. But when it comes time for you to say, to speak their, your truth, they can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. Okay. Sorry. My son is just waiting for me. Yeah. Look at this. Two of swords. Two of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Swords came out of reverse. This person actually wants to have a conversation with you and talk to you. Oh, they don't want to, they may not be, they, okay. Yeah, they want to talk to you. This person wants to have a conversation. They want to discuss something. They want to um, communicate. They may want to be on the same page. They want to work something out. They want to have a, they want to, deep down inside, this is what they're thinking. What okay, so I'm gonna take the two of swords here, but yeah, I feel like what's on this person's mind is that they want to talk, they want to discuss something, they want to talk to you. Um, yeah, 
but you what but what I don't like is that they're trying to see if you're going to reach out first or if you're going to say something first or if you're going to talk to them first if you're going to communicate first or if you're going to put that effort in first mhm that's what's on their mind on their mind is should I reach out first should I say something or should I not should I let you like should they they're saying should I let you Pisces should I let you like should I let Pisces do all the talking first or should I let Pisces reach out first or say something first like that's what's on their mind if they should reach out first if they should open up start the conversation first if they should make that decision like if that should come for them or if they should come for you um I'm also an energy of like kind of almost like Libra energy like I said I don't know why I'm getting this Libra energy where it's like I'm seeing the justice card where it's almost like about fairness and who should who should say something first? And I don't feel like I should say something first. This person should reach out to me first. There's something about fairness and integrity and balance in a situation like you should say something to me. You should reach out to me or feeling like maybe they should reach out. So, child, whatever. How does this person feel deep down inside about you right now? Nine of one. This person, yo, this person... Deep down inside, this person got is they're wearing a chip on their shoulders. Like they feel overly guarded. They got an attitude. They still feel some type of way. They're in their feelings. They're feeling gar overly guarded. Confrontational. So that means even if you, even if there was like in this current moment from you hearing this right now, if you guys were to end up having a conversation like right now in this energy, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel so confident about it because this person is already up in guards here with you and they're ready to stand toe to toe with you and go against, they're ready to prove something to you. They're ready to like, have words with you about something that about the truth that you spoke about this person makes no sense like what are you what are you trying to do here what are you trying to prove what are you trying to who are you trying to convince what do you you know i feel like in this energy right now they're still in this energy where they are trying to prove or convince you to be wrong about something that is truthful like you spoke facts and they just didn't want to hear it and they still feel like they're they're still up in guards about it, and they still feel like they they have proof or they still have something that they can say to combat whatever it is that you said, which was already the truth. Like, why are we doing this? Like, the truth is the truth, baby. The truth don't know. Like, I don't know what this person. Yeah, I'm hearing this, and I keep hearing you can't handle the truth. I don't know why I keep hearing you can't handle the truth. Whoever this person is right now in the current moment, they just can't handle the truth. Like they don't mind telling you, speaking truth to you, and saying things to you, but they can't handle when someone's telling them the truth about themselves. That's who this person is. That's how they're feeling. Like they're overly guarded. They're wearing a chip on their shoulder, and they really, honestly, like. But they want to say something to you. They still want to have a, they want to talk. They, they want to have a, con this person wants to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. This person still wants to conversate with you. But the thing that they want to conversate about is crazy because it's like they constantly want to prove something differently from what the hell you've already said, which is already the damn truth. Like, why are we doing this? Um, How is this person coming towards you right now? Oh my gosh, I don't know. The hangman is in reverse. So I'm going to be honest with you. Over on, look at the back of the deck is the five of swords. This is like defeated, six of cups at the top. I mean, I feel like the hangman in reverse to me is someone who is having a hard time seeing things from your perspective. Um, they may want people to see things from their perspective. I feel like 
it's weird because at the same time, I feel like this person can see things from your perspective, but sometimes it's just not about seeing things from the perspective. It's about also accepting something about yourself and they're unwilling to do that part. You know, like I don't get this person at this point. Like they're not trying to compromise with whatever it is that you said. They're not trying to agree or accept it. They're not trying to see something in it, the truth in it with this enlightenment. They're not trying to see some, see the truth in what you've said. If anything, they're trying to kind of like, I can't, I don't, I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. Like if I had to have a conversation with this person, like I can't. You win. No, what you said is right. No, you're fine. You're good. Have a nice one. <laughs> like, this person is holding their head. Like, there's no winning. There's no, like, getting through to this person. Or this person is like, there's an energy of, like, trying to win an argument or wanting to be right. Hmm. I'm going to be honest. The way this person is coming towards you is they're delaying something here with you. They're delaying having a conversation with you. They're delaying talking to you. They're delaying opening up to you, having this conversation with you because they want to avoid the truth. The truth is exactly what the hell you said. And they want to avoid something that you said. They don't want to have to really talk about that or discuss that. They're still up in guards about something that you said to them. And they don't want to have to confront that with you or compromise something or, you know, they don't want it. They don't want it, baby. I don't want it. I don't want you. I don't they don't want to have to do that. That is weird. It's almost like they don't want to have to admit that maybe something you said is true or right about them. And they're up in guards about it. You know what I'm saying? Up in, I'm not up in guards. Up in arms about it. They're up in arms about it. I keep saying guards. They're up in arms about it. But they are guarded. Um, so, yeah, this person is delaying something here with you. Delaying the truth. Delaying, you know, something that you spoke or said. Because they feel like if they end up talking to you again or if they end up having a conversation that may come back up or outside influencing how they feel about you so the page of wands i mean this person does want to we have uh the page of wands you could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius gemini libra and aquarius or a pisces here another pisces but this person is this is weird because what knight of cups this is somebody that does have romantic feelings for you or they adore you or they do care about you. For some of you guys who this is a romantic situation, the page of wild, this person is very passionate about you. They feel passionate about you. Um, I feel like they actually want to send you a message. They, they do feel very like they desire to send you a message or to reach out to communicate with you to talk to you that's what's outside influencing them their desire of wanting to be playful or wanting to move something forward here i do also see that there could be a child outside influencing the situation maybe an aries leo sagittarius child or maybe another person that aries leo sagittarius outside influencing this person so maybe there is this person's own child is influencing them or someone a lot younger than this person maybe talking or influencing this person or making this person kind of you know feel passionate about moving towards you or just surrendering what's the next move this person is about to make towards you what is the next move that this person is about to make towards you it's not much to talk about with this person. You have a star. There could be someone on the outside that's really influencing or inspiring this person. Maybe an Aquarius, maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to come towards you. To be more passionate. Um, to kind of let things go, to detach. Yeah, four pentacles in reverse, let things go. This person may be holding on too tightly to something that you said. Just like they're taking it to, yeah, Nine of Swords. They're, take, they're taking this shit to heart. They're taking it very personal. Nine of Swords, this person takes this very, they say, they, whatever you said, they're taking that shit to heart. They're taking that shit to heart. They're taking that shit to mind. They're taking that shit. To, 
they're they 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 are they're this is someone that is this i feel like whoever this person is it's very hard for them to let go of shit you know it's very hard for them to let go of shit they ruminate with this look at the nine of swords my gosh yes ace of swords it's like damn they always thinking about it ace of swords nine of swords like they can't free themselves from this. Like, something you said, yo, you spoke some facts. And I'm hearing the truth can sometimes hurt. I feel like this shit hurt them. It really, it really fucked with them mentally. It really fucked with their head. Whatever you said to this person, it's crazy because it wasn't a lie, but it really fucked with their head. It really messed with them. It really fucked them up. This, The truth here, this shit, it really fucked them up. <laughs> this could be an Aquarius. We got nothing but air and fire here in Pisces. Um, but it could be any other sign. Their next move towards you is a star. So the star is about healing, you know, releasing. The star is holding some type of balloon. The balloon may be a star balloon. I don't know, honey. It's a ball of light. But they're holding on to it. But I do feel like star is also about detachment. So I do feel like this person next move towards you is also going to be releasing, letting go, detaching, healing letting that shit go baby like let that shit go because baby you ain't hurting nobody you just hurting yourself you you're over here you know making yourself feel some type of way stressing yourself out trying to convince yourself you just this person is sitting up here trying to convince themselves of something that's not even true like they know the truth about themselves instead of just accepting this and being enlightened to the situation and making light of the situation or maybe wanting to improve the situation or do better they're trying to make it almost as if you know you're the one that's causing them to feel this way when really the truth is what's causing you to feel this way baby the harder how they feel about you pisces right now the harder how they feel about you. okay the emperor in reverse this person may feel like you ooh, queen of pentacles in reverse this person may feel like you are like a bit the harder how they feel about you is maybe you're like overly you this person feels like you're controlling you're overbearing they may even feel like you always think you're right you always have to be right. This person feels like you're overbearing, you're smothering, you're... The harder how they feel about you maybe is like you're inflexible, you're unyielding, you're controlling. You're bossy. You're bossy. There may be an energy of also you're selfish or uh, you're definitely bossy. <laughs> I'm hearing you don't care about anyone but yourself. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're arrogant. This person feels like you're arrogant. I'm hearing you don't listen. That's the heart of how they feel about you. Interesting. But they're also, they seem to be, this is the heart of how they feel about you, but they're coming off as someone who is my way, the highway, <laughs> inflexible. Like they're holding on to shit. They won't let it go. Like, I don't know. They, they This person feels like you're dominating and you're controlling, but they're also this way too. <laughs> oh, what's crossing this? Two cards up front. Yeah, the lovers. <laughs> In the Nine of Pentacles, someone feels like you're trying to be the boss of them, but it's not going to happen. Especially if this is a romantic encounter with the lovers here. Someone feels like, you know, you're trying to be the boss of them. You're trying to boss them around. But it's crazy because I do feel like this person, um, if this is not somebody romantically, yeah, either way, it's like a friendship too. Like, you're not the boss of me. This person does want a relationship with you or they want compassion with you or they want to be compassionate with you. Yeah, they want to show you compassion for some of them. They want to be in a relationship with you. They, But at the same time, like the Nine of Pentacles speaks of freedom too. It speaks of financial freedom. It speaks of independency. It, it speaks of, I have a mind outside of you. I have thoughts outside of you. I am my own separate person outside of you. And I want that to be respected. Um, my beliefs, my, my opinions, I want that to be respected. I want that to be understood. I want that to be valued. So, damn. I kind of really feel like this person's next move towards you is that it may take this person some time to kind of like 
let go and release the situation to be able to come back to a place where they also are respecting your values. But right now, it's kind of hard for them to do. It's almost kind of hard for them to kind of like get out of their own way right now. Their ego, they, they have a big ego. Their ego is getting the best of them. Um, for them to actually step aside to, to see where you're coming from, to respect your your you know, your stance on things to know that you are a separate person outside of them and you are entitled to your own thoughts, beliefs, and opinions and things of that nature. So yeah, it's just having compassion for that person, that individual person. So they haven't quite made that decision to look at things from this perspective, <laughs> you know? Wow. It's crazy because, yeah. I feel like at the end of the day, this person just wants to be respected. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they could be a friend, a family, a lover. They just want to be respected. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. They feel like it should be an equal give and take. With the judgment, it's like, hey, if you want me to listen to you, then you need to listen to me. Yeah. Five of Wands. Yeah. Conflict. You know, like, yeah, Six of Cups. It should be reciprocal. Like, I should be able to express my feelings and emotions. You should be able to do the same. So they may feel like they can't do that with you and they feel like it needs to be reciprocated. It needs to be an equal give and take, an equal understanding, you know. What is this person love message to you? I'm only going to pull one. I'm only being called to pull one. What is this person love message to you at this time? Ooh, okay. Ooh. We have, I don't want to be your friend. For some of you guys, where this is um, a romantic situation, this person is saying, I don't want to be your friend. They don't. With the lovers, this person is like, I'd rather be single um, or I'd rather be single from a situation here with you. They don't want to be friend zone. They want, I feel like this person wants more than a friendship. You know, this person wants to be in a relationship. For some of you guys who have been dealing with somebody and maybe you guys were acting like friends or this person is acting like they want to be your friend, it's not, they don't want to be your friend. They don't. They want, they want more. They want more out of a situation. Like this could even be like um, a friend and you may think that this person, this may be like same sex, you know, where there's someone that actually like you way more than you like them or they may want more with you. <laughs> They may want to see more happen out of this connection than you do for some of you guys. Right now, for some of you guys, they may feel like at the top of the deck, I just hear you will hear from me soon. So this person, like I said, they do want to talk to you. They want to reach out to you. This person is stubborn as hell, you guys. They're stubborn. They are stubborn, okay? What's one romance angel cards? What would you like for me to let Pisces, someone rising Venus sign, know about this person? What do they need to know about this person when it comes to love and romance? For some of you guys, like I said, this person doesn't want to compromise. They don't, they don't want to be friends right now. They don't want to be close to you right now. They don't want to have that compassion until you understand where they're coming from, until you respect something that they are, until you listen to them, like they, like you want them to listen to them is what I'm hearing. Like, you can't expect me to listen to you, but you don't listen to me. Yeah, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I'm hearing that, yo, <laughs> this person is feeling this separation. I also hear that they don't want to be apart from you. They don't. They hate it. They don't like this one bit. They hate this separation. They don't want to be apart from you. They don't. Like, they may be doing this to teach you a lesson or to get you to understand something, but this is not what they truly desire and this is not what they truly want is what I'm hearing. 